hi everybody. This is Pastor Susan and I am at the pool today. <laughs> so we're staying with friends this week as I'm recording this um, in Kansas, at Hutchinson, Kansas, where Ron is performing at the Kansas State Fair. This is his 22nd year here. And um, one of the, my favorite places to come and visit because we have developed dear friendships that uh, we get to renew as I periodically can come and be here for a few days. And so uh, today is the weather is beautiful. It's about 80 degrees outside. There's a nice breeze going on. And, um, and so as I'm preparing to come back to return home, this is the theme actually for yesterday's sermon, uh, which will uh, be in a few days from this time of recording. So I wanted to just share with you, um, as we think about going home, uh, there's a lot of different things uh, as we think about the spiritual journey. And of course, we, we talked at, at the beginning of the sermon series on the quest of the awakened traveler to become awake to what's around us and how we leave home on the spiritual journey in some ways, leaving behind some things. We have encounters as we go along our way, and then we reflect on those encounters as we prepare ourselves to return home. And, um, and so this week I'm gonna be talking about making some U-turns because uh, you know, when I think about my travel out here, I actually had multiple destinations as I went first to um, up to Washington DC for a couple of days for a pastor's conference and then came out to Kansas and now I'm going to be leaving on Thursday uh, to travel back home from Kansas to CBG. And, um, and so lots of, lots of things have happened over this, this particular trip that I am grateful for. And as I am thinking about uh, this week, I want to think about making U-turns in our lives because, you know, there is this, this time of returning home and you've been on, when you've been on a journey of some kind, you've come to a certain point and then you want to turn around and come home. And today um, I'm going to share with you an experience I had. The first night I came, um, I was going to a... Uh, a concert. Ron bought me two tickets to a concert. One was for Casting Crowns that I'll be going to later this week. But when I when I um, got here, I went to see a concert by Winona Judd, and it was one of the one, most wonderful concerts I've ever been to. I loved it. Um, but after the concert was over, Ron had done his performing, and he'd already gone back home. He was going to come meet me. Um, at the entrance to the fair, which has several entrances. And he said, you know, it's really, really easy. You just go down this road and go straight to the grandstand and just come back. But when I came out of the grandstand at the end of the concert, there were lots of people going in a certain direction and I just went with them. Well, it was on the other side of the big, you know, fairgrounds and I, it was dark. And there, and by the time I got to that e exit, there weren't a lot of people going the other direction. And so I asked for directions and, and somebody said, well, you go down this, this pathway and then you turn and then you go down this pathway and you turn. And I said, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go back the way I came. And so I walked back and then got a sense of which way I needed to go. So there's this sense sometimes of getting lost where we are and we have to get our bearings, right? And that is today what I wanna talk about because we get to make a decision about how we will travel and what calls us back to home. And um, in our scripture lesson today, which comes from the um, book of Acts, and this is the Acts of the Apostles. And so it starts out specifically with Peter. Remember, he's the one upon whom Christ says he will build his church. And, and Peter and um, John are out in the portico of Solomon in Jerusalem, they're preaching, and um, Peter says, you know, you guys have done this to the Messiah. You have made, you have contributed to his death. And the response to the death was, of course, the resurrection. And so the good news that comes, and he said, because of your ignorance, you did this, but now you get the chance to turn around. You get the chance to repent which is exactly what it means. Repentance is about turning around, turning around back to God's direction rather than going along on our own way. And it's that moment where we say, oh no, it's time to do something different. 
and God calls us to turn around to God. Let's listen to these, uh, this two verses from chapter three of the book of Acts. It says, this is Peter speaking, repent therefore and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out so that the times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord and that he may send the Messiah appointed for you, that is Jesus. And um, I love this passage because it talks about um, that the repentance for sin in our life, for those things that are taking us away from God's direction for our lives, repentance gives us that time of refreshing from the presence of the Lord. When you and I, as we talked about on Sunday, abide in Christ, when we make it a part of our daily lives that we are endeavoring to move in that direction, God blesses us, refreshes us, gives us purpose and meaning. And yeah, there are gonna be times when we have to make those turnarounds again and again and again. This week we're gonna be unpacking what that looks like, but here's what I want you to know for today, that we have the freedom to choose. We have the freedom to be released from those things which are taking us in the wrong direction and take us to God, take us in God's direction. And so I hope for today, you may feel lost like I did on the fairgrounds the first day I was here, first night I was here, but there is a way back and God makes that way clear to us that in Christ we can find the refreshment of being in the presence of the Lord that we need. And so today, will you pray with me as, as I am out here in this wonderful um, summer time, but just gentle time where the, the uh, wind is blowing and the birds are in the air and, um, and this, there's, not a, there's not a cloud in the sky. God is present in this place and God is present right where you are when you hear this. So let's invite God in once more as we begin this week together of making U-turns, making those turns of repentance so that we can be more aware of God's presence that is always with us, that seeks to refresh us and nourish us. Let's pray. Loving and gracious God, you are a God who loves us beyond measure, who always holds out that possibility of relationship. And today I pray that as we make our way through this week and we think about the areas of our life that we need to make a U-turn, we need to come home to you. We pray that you will give us um, understanding and the ability to make that choice that leads to life. Maybe so in my life today, oh God, and maybe so in each person who hears these words, who is connecting with you, and who calls you their Lord. Amen and amen.